Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Beyond the Mask, where today we're going to be taking a look at Wes Craven's final word regarding a very important aspect of Scream 4. So many of you are likely unaware of this, but Scream 4 was originally written by Kevin Williamson and there were intentions for this movie to kickstart this whole new trilogy. So five would follow with six concluding the story. One of the main aspects that Kevin Williamson has always been vocal about was his desire to have Jill Roberts survive her outing in Scream 4 and for the movie after to follow her journey. Kevin eventually departed from the project, but his script remained, so Erin Kruger, who wrote Scream 3, was brought on board to finalise Kevin's script. Now, this is new news, but I've recently watched the commentary to Scream 4 with Wes Craven, and I have read through two Scream 4 scripts. It appears to me that Wes and Erin had very opposite visions for how they wanted Scream 4 to end. In the movie we got, Jill Roberts is shot and killed by Sidney Prescott, who finally puts a stop to the Woodsboro 2011 killing spree. However, Wes Craven, like Kevin Williamson, constantly wanted Jill's fate to be left open. And the reason I say these two agreed was because it was Erin's adjusted script that specifically stated and had Jill shot in the climax. When 4 was released, Wes hoped Kevin would return to write 5, so much so that whenever it was brought up in interviews, he specifically mentioned Kevin's writing a new script over and over. So what's the purpose of this video? Well, the audio commentary for 4 has provided some interesting details, something that I think is entirely overlooked. During the editing process, Wes Craven stated that they noticed Emma Roberts was twitching in her final scene, so much so they were ordered to digitally remove the twitch. Wes, however, believing that Kevin would return for Scream 5 and his desires to bring Jill back could still play into effect, decided to not remove her twitch. So, to keep her fate open, as he puts it. Wes Craven said in the commentary, there was the smallest of twitches on Jill Roberts' face in the final shot. And whilst they initially went to remove it digitally in post-production, Craven had them add it back to keep the possibility of her return open. So here's why this is important. Wes Craven sadly passed away and was unable to make any more Scream movies, but from the release of 4 in 2011, Right up until his death, he consciously believed that he left the door open for Jill's survival. Now, I know that this sounds ridiculous in hindsight, but the idea was there, so much so that Wes prevented Jill appearing more lifeless in her final shot, due to the fact he wanted to keep her fate open. So, add this also to the fact that he wanted Kevin Williamson back for Scream 5, is it really accurate to assume that Jill is 100% dead? The only reason I say this is because this was Wes's idea in the long run. So how would they have made this work on screen? I just thought it was fascinating that Wes still believed Jill could return in a fifth movie if she wanted, due to the fact that she twitched several times in her last shot. But what I want to know is, what do you guys think about this? Do you think you'd believe Jill survived her death? Or do you think it's stupid to assume otherwise? Whatever your thoughts are, share them down below. And as usual, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And make sure you stay notified for more awesome Scream content on the way.